In the last video I did, I went through how to log into Windows 10 without using a password, passwordless login, which is a really good thing to do. But what I haven't taken anybody through yet is how to actually set this up with a Microsoft account. So I'll go through that in this video now. So what'll happen next is I'll show you how you can log into your Microsoft account. And then when you've got logged into that, you can go in to the security settings and you can remove your password from the Microsoft account. And that means then there is no password stored online with your Microsoft account. And that means it can't be hacked. It can't be stolen from a database and put into a breach. Everything that is online for your Microsoft account is done via the authenticator, the Microsoft authenticator on your mobile phone. And I'll also show you an aspect of where on your Microsoft account, if you lost your phone or it was stolen or whatever happened to your phone, you can still recover access to your Microsoft account using your phone number or, or a number of email addresses that you've got so you're not locked out of those things. So let's go and have a look at some screen grabs now of how we set this up in Microsoft account. Right, I'll sign into my Microsoft account now. And you can already see that I've already got two-factor authentication set up on my Microsoft account. So up on my screen here now, it said, shall I approve that sign-in? And I'm going to approve that sign-in on my phone and I'm signed in. Am I going to stay signed in on my computer? Well, it's mine. So I'm going to choose yes in this instance and do that. Okay, this is the Microsoft account homepage. Um, where we want to be going here is over to security and the security dashboard. And then the advanced security options over here. And as you can see now, there's quite a lot of information on this page. And you can see that I have got various options for how to recover my account in future, which is email account here, email account here, code here, and a text to my mobile phone number here. So I've got, I've got three different emails as a way of recovering my Microsoft account. And that's what you'll use in the future if you ever lost your phone and you've switched your password off. Now what we're gonna do is scroll down here a bit, additional security, and you can see I've got two-step verification on here. Now I'm not gonna go through that in this video. I'll do that in another one, so you can do that in a separate video. But here's this one, passwordless account off. Now let's switch that on with turn on. And as you can see here, Microsoft tells you, this reduces the attack of phishing and password attacks, i.e. that's somebody get, getting your password by sending you a dodgy email and you then accidentally giving away your password or your password being hacked from a database that even Microsoft have. So you can get rid of that. We'll click on next here. Right, now pick up the phone and I've got an approval to remove the password from my account and I'm gonna click on approve for that one. And again, extra level of security. My phone asks me to put in my pin code for my phone to approve that. So there's an extra level of security on that. I've done that now and Microsoft says, I no longer have a password on my account for logging in. So let's see how that kind of looks. Let's go up to here and sign out of my account. Okay, so I've got the option to sign back in again. Put my username in. And now you'll see no password dialog comes up. It says check my phone. I go to my phone, approve my sign in. And there we go, same one. Do I wanna stay signed in? Yeah, I'll stay signed in and I've signed into my Microsoft account. And that means I've got rid of my password completely. And as you see here, I have got options if I ever need to recover my account that I can email a code to myself. Now, how would you do that? Well, let's sign back out again. And you can see here that you've got sign in options, forgot my username, and you can enter one of your alternative email addresses to recover the details to get into your Microsoft account. And that's what you'd use. Again, I'm not gonna do that in this video. I could go through a video and do that one for you, but that explains that. So there is how you actually enable passwordless logos. Thanks for that for the cat there in the background. That's how you enable passwordless login in your Microsoft account. There you go, that's how you set up passwordless login on a Microsoft account, or really what you're actually doing is removing the password from the Microsoft account. And that is gonna make your Microsoft account much secure. And the previous video I showed how you can log into Windows 10 using that account and then put a pin on. And then that means that you're logging into your computer with only a four digit code, which is much easier for us to remember. And most of us are common with remembering four digit codes and phone numbers and stuff. We're kind of good at that as human beings. And online there isn't any password sent 
that there isn't any password that's associated with your Microsoft account, which means it's much more secure to use. And every time you log on to it online, you're going to use your phone to do it instead with the Microsoft Authenticator. This is something that, that we really want to see get done across the board with anybody using Windows 10. Get a Microsoft account, then remove the password from it, and then set yourself up to log up without a password into your Microsoft account. If everybody did this, we'll be a stage further towards a place where there's less opportunity for criminals to steal from us online, as simple as that. And that's why it's a good thing to do. And I suggest that if you watch this video, that you have a go at doing it yourself. And if you get any problems, stick it in the comments, and then we can give you some feedback on that. We can talk to you and you know, point you in the right direction. With all of these videos, once again, if you like what we're talking about, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the videos, leave us a comment. It means a lot to us. James and I are trying to grow the business and improve this. I'm trying to do as much video as I can and improve how I work on the video. So I'd like any feedback that you've got for me, that'd be much appreciated. And I will see you on the next video. Cheers, ta-da.